Apocalypse. Friends, it is time to continue our Google Slides project. I'm going to get to it today using the Apps button, and you may have a Slides button, but for sure you have a Google Drive button. And when you look down through your Google Drive, you'll probably see your computer's one with your initials real close, and you can double click and launch it. In our last lesson, we took care of the first page, we took care of typing, and we took care of Google Docs. At this point, I want you to, instead of using the plus sign, let's use right click and let's just do new slide. Notice it keeps the layout that we've been using. This time I want to change to a two column layout. Our title this time is going to be Google Spreadsheets, or better yet, Google Sheets because it's easier to type. And then we need to add this bulleted list reminding of us of all the cool things that we learned in Google Sheets. Type in all of these that we practiced. We worked with cell names, formulas, pixel art, formatting, which was part of the pixel art because we changed the column size, Connect 4, which was the game where we practiced Control C and Control V. We had absolute formulas where no matter where we copied the formula, it kept the same cell address. We had shared documents so we could work with and do things with our partners. And then sheets update automatically as the numbers change. And then we did charts. We're going to actually do the charts right now. I'm going to backspace to get rid of that line. I want you to click on this text box and we're going to delete it. And you need to move over here and use insert chart. And we need to do it from sheets. When I click the insert chart from sheets choice it grabs some of the projects I had because I typed the name chart we had one called fun chart we also did the one in the car dealership one whichever chart you want you simply select it it brings up the chart you simply click on the one you want because there could have been more than one and then you import it so that your chart shows up now you can arrange it so it fits the way you want I'm going to shrink this down so it wraps a little further and I can make my chart a little larger. Let's insert a slide and this time we'll go back to the plus sign and this slide is going to be about Tinkercad. Notice it has the same layout that we had before. Type in your Tinkercad and this time let's add our text with a numbered list and we'll look at these kind of as ranks but it really doesn't matter it's just kind of showing that we can do a numbered list. I have 11 things that I'd like you to put in that you've learned in Tinkercad, so hopefully you remember how to build other things. Uh, basic shapes, duplicate, align, nudge with the arrow keys, flip, view cube, fit view, home view, multicolor, which also includes transparency, holes, and the group choices. Those are all things that help you build. And then in this box, Let's get rid of this item, and instead I want you to insert a picture of your favorite Tinkercad project. If you have to go back and grab a new one with Nimbus, you can. I know that I've got some saved in my downloads folder that I can just bring in. Now mine has a fancy title, but that's also because I used it for one of my YouTube movies. You do not have to have words on yours. If you try and figure that out with Nimbus, you can add them though. Let's insert another slide and let's make this Tinkercad how to. And I'd like you to tell me about your favorite lesson in Tinkercad and fill in all the information about what you made when you're done telling me about it. End with this sentence. So I'm going to move down a little bit. If you would like to try it, you can use the video to the right. So once again, we are going to delete this little box over here. Let's open up a new tab and let's go to the HL Mod Tech YouTube channel. I've got a link for it. If you don't have a link, simply start a Google page and type HL Mod Tech. And you will see the YouTube choice right at the top. And then this is the special trick that you really need to know about using YouTube. 
if you slide across this screen there is a search button and right here you can type the topic of what you want to make now I wrote down the dinosaur so I'm gonna write down dino because I remember that's what it was named and then if I look down here is my epic dino lesson so when you click the lesson you can pause it because we don't want to listen to it now but what we want to do is share it and copy the link when you go back to your computer's one screen we're going to use the super cool insert video tool and it asks for the URL or the search we're just going to do the URL and we're going to paste that in and hit select and just like that if you share your project with somebody which we will later they will have the video built into the project since we're working on Google Slides let's back up to slide techniques and I just want to remind you how easy it is to change the theme under the theme choice remember all you do is click and then the entire project which is getting bigger as we go changes immediately it is super slick to adjust and give it a brand new flavor in one click the other thing I want to show you is how to change transitions so if you go to slide and you choose transition it lets you pick whether you want one transition for the whole project or separate ones for each slide I'm gonna do the nifty dissolve and I'm gonna apply it medium and to all slides notice now you've got the little dot showing that there is a transition and when I hit present it will move through every time I click with a cool dissolve now you can make your presentation too busy uh, next lesson we're going to talk about how to make one that is classy and contains all your info in it uh, today if you want to play with them you can but I kinda recommend that you stay with one at a time notice those were overlapping these are overlapping those are things I'm gonna go back and fix now that I've seen what it looks like as a presentation I'm gonna hit escape to cancel out and then this is where I go and adjust so that my elements do not line up on top of each other I'm gonna make my picture a little smaller and I'm going to nudge this a little left and I can also make it skinnier so get it so that your stuff is really sharp you've got your transitions and then today I want a screenshot showing that you've got all six slides and the transitions congratulations on getting this far on your slide uh, remember it's a Google project so you do not have to save it it saves automatically I do want a screenshot turned in so I can see that you got it done Thanks for watching, friends. If you found this useful, please click that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please hit subscribe. If you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech, hit that notification bell. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.